Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I have an Adobe XD multi-interaction prototype tutorial for you guys. We're gonna be taking a app design and making it a full prototype using multi-interaction. We're gonna be taking the design you see here, creating a drag effect on the card so you can swipe back and forth and use a tap effect to expand that to full screen, taking advantage of the multi-interaction feature. If you guys are interested in creating this design, I have a link to that in the description, as well as I'll throw that video up on the screen now in case you missed that design tutorial. I think this feature is really cool, so I'm excited to get into today's tutorial. So let's take a look at multi-interaction and how you can use it in a prototype. Like all of my design tutorials, there is a project file link down in the description that will get you set up for the starting point for today's tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is every time I like to prototype in Adobe XD, because I'm a bit messy when I design, I like to organize my layers. So here I'm going to be renaming certain elements, grouping them together and changing the layer order to best fit this prototype. Status bar is a component, so it's already grouped, so that's fine. Next, we have this navigation section. So I'm just gonna select all that and hit Command G or Control G to create a group, and then I'll just name that navigation. The next thing I'm gonna do is here, since we're not gonna be changing the interaction of this, I'm gonna group this as well, and we're just going to call this heading. Card one, I'm going to select all of that and group that, and we'll just call that card one. Down here at the bottom, I'm gonna group that together and call this swipe tip. So now we've got a little bit more organization to our design file. We are gonna pay attention to the layer ordering here in just a second, but for now, this is gonna do us just fine. So what we're gonna do is I'm simply going to drag this card off into the pasteboard, making sure that I remember that we have 16 spacing here for later. And what we're gonna do is make this the exact same as this one over here. So I'm gonna unlock the aspect ratio on this black rectangle and drag down until it is 500 pixels high, just like card one. From there, I'm just going to grab these text and drag them in. We'll check our spacing, 21 and 21. So we'll grab both of those and we'll go 21 and 21. Change out the descriptions. And so now we have a second card. So then I'm going to select all this, Command G to group it, and we'll call this card two. Then we'll drag this back into our design and make sure we align it properly. One final thing we have to do on this card is make sure that both of the body texts here are right in front of the rectangle, so the background rectangle. That way when we slide these around, they're gonna go behind this image layer. So you wanna make sure that is organized correctly. So then we're going to select the design artboard and hit Command D to create a exact copy. So that's gonna keep all of our layers and organization exactly the same, so that when we go to auto animate, it's gonna tell Adobe XD, these are the same elements, all the changes need to auto animate. So I'm gonna slide this over just a bit. And here, I'm going to drag this into the first position and make sure we line it up on that guideline. Command semicolon to turn off my guides. So now that we have that, we can go to the prototype tab. We'll select card one and drag a wire over. This is going to be a drag trigger and we don't need any easing. And make sure you have auto animate active. We'll select card two now and drag the wire back to the first artboard with the exact same settings. If we hit live preview now, we have this nice drag effect. Switching back over to the design tab, I have a third card that we're gonna place into the design. So I'm just gonna drag that component out and place it 16 pixels to the right so that we don't have that empty space. We're gonna copy that with command C, come over to the design, command V, and we'll just drag that over so that it matches the spacing for all three cards, and then it'll disappear since we already have that wire set up. So now we no longer have that awkward space over here on the right because that card now fills it. So we can shift this back over. From here, what we need to do is collapse the second card on our first artboard, just like this one is. So I'm going to do that by just grabbing the rectangle and dragging it all the way up to its original position. Then we can select the text, holding shift to grab the second one, and I'm going to put it behind our image just to hide it. 
I'm also going to grab that text and lower the opacity all the way down to zero. So now that we have this one expanding, we want the original one to collapse. So I'm going to select that, grab the rectangle in the back. We'll set it back to 212. And then we can grab the text, shift them behind the image, just like we did with the other one. So I'm touching the top one to the top of the image and the bottom one to the bottom of the image so that they're both hidden. We also need to lower the opacity down to zero. And you'll notice that we have these out of order. That's fine, we'll just drag these in front of the rectangle. And because we've done that, that breaks the auto animate for card one. So we have to go back to the original, grab the text and drag it to the exact same position right above rectangle 15 there. So if we have that done correctly, when we hit live preview again, you'll notice that they slide behind as the other card expands like so. Also looking at the layers, one thing we need to do is we need to make sure that card three is behind card two. And we need to do that on our second artboard. So we'll do that, card three, and make sure they're in the exact same position. So now that we have multiple interactions in Adobe XD, we have a drag effect on this card, but we can also then add a tap effect. So we're gonna use that tap effect to expand this card to the full screen and select our playlist. So I'm going to grab this, hit Command D to create a duplicate. Now I'm gonna drag this above this, just so we have kind of some visual hierarchy here. So we're swiping back and forth between these two, and then this is gonna take us up here. Let's go to the prototype tab. We're gonna select this card and drag up a new trigger with that plus icon, and we're gonna make sure this is set to tap. Make sure the action is set to auto animate. We're gonna turn on ease in and ease out, and we'll set this to 0.8 seconds for the duration. So then on this screen, we can drag a new trigger back to the previous artboard, tap, ease in and ease out over 0.8 seconds. Now nothing is going to happen because we have no changes. So let's swap to the design tab and create those. So here in the layers panel, I'm gonna select from card three all the way down to the bottom and turn the opacity to zero. So the only thing we're left with is card two and the status bar. So since we want this to expand, we need to grab the rectangle in the back and we'll just put it up here in the top left hand corner and we'll drag it down to fill the entire artboard. Now we do have some rounded edges on that, so I'm gonna set the border radius to zero so that it fills the artboard completely. We'll drag our image to the top left. We're gonna unlock the aspect ratio, and we're going to slide this image over to the edge, just like that. Again, we need to adjust our border radius. For this, I'm going to set this to zero in the first two fields, which is the top left and right corner. And then I'm going to create a larger radius on the bottom left and right. So we'll set that to 18. So it adds this nice curve here on the bottom, but the corner now fills out just like that. For the heading text, we're going to center that inside of this new image area, and we're going to increase this in size to 34 point font, and we'll just make sure that it's again centered. The only thing we're left with here is the original body text. We're gonna grab them both and slide them off the artboard completely and turn the opacity down to zero. So they're gonna slide down as they fade out. So this is what we are left with so far. Let's go ahead and hit live preview and take a look at what happens when we tap that card. So that is the effect we want. So now we need some content on this screen. I went ahead and created two content sections here. So I'm gonna drag those out. One is called song list and the other one is just a card of the original description text combined here. So we're gonna put the first one 21 pixels below that image. So I'm gonna to touch it there and go down 21 pixels. And then we'll follow that up with this card right here. And we'll put that 21 pixels below the song list. So now we need to go into the layers panel and we need to grab the description and song list. And we're going to drag those to the top of card two. And I'm going to copy them with command C. Once we have those copied, we're gonna go into our artboard select our grouping, expand it, and paste them right above, just like that. So they are the exact same position here. Then we're gonna slide these down out of the way, and I'm gonna drag one way down so that we have a little bit of variation in the speeds that they slide in. So that is just letting Adobe XD know that this element exists on the first screen we're gonna be animating from. 
so that they will in fact animate in. So when we hit live preview, we're gonna swipe over, select the card, and you'll see that our new two content sections will appear, sliding in and sliding out. One final thing I missed, here on the second artboard, select that swipe text and just turn it to 0% opacity so that when we swipe over, it fades out and then we have our finished prototype. So that's it for this multi-interaction prototype tutorial. That's the process I take for creating a prototype utilizing multi-interaction in Adobe XD. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more design related content every Tuesday and Thursday. Make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss an up and coming video. As always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.